On behalf of the Brown and the Bolesky family, I want to welcome you to the celebration of love. Great entrance, guys. <laughs> Beautiful entrance, ladies. Um, the ceremony was actually crafted um, not only by Chris and Heather, but by Chris's brother, Alex. And he was going to perform the ceremony and then it was deployed. And so I am honored uh, to be able to take the ceremony that he crafted and to be able to celebrate with you all today as you join your lives together as one. And we welcome you here. As we begin, Heather's cousin Molly is going to share a song with us in reflection of this love. Play us a dirge. Sorry. I knew there wasn't going to be a dry eye in the house, but I didn't realize that was going to be me too, so bear with me. <laughs> <laughs>
true. No, there's nothing that I, I wouldn't do. Go to the ends of this earth for you. To make you mine. To make you feel my love. Kristen, Heather, you made it. We did. All the planning, <laughs> all the decisions, all the invitations, your day is here, and this is it. Chris expressed to me that through all the challenges the two of you faced, that he's just grown more sure through all these times that you are the one for him. I want to share just a few thoughts with you today. Um, as you build a relationship that, that you're making a commitment today that will last a lifetime, um, there's a guy named Willard Harley. Funny name, I'm stealing some great ideas from him. Um, Willard said that there is no marriage that cannot be great and no broken marriage that cannot be repaired if you follow just three principles. And I'm going to share those with you today. They're, they're building blocks that can just launch you into a lifetime of having a great marriage. So the first one is to find the three greatest needs in one another. And at all costs, seek to meet those needs. Now, the needs are going to be different. This is going to take thought. You're going to have to listen. You're going to have to watch each other's lives. But as you find those, to work and to strive to meet those needs in one another's lives, that's a core principle. Um, and connected to that is the principle of the love bank, the idea that each person has a love bank. And that you've been making deposits in the love bank over the course of your relationship that got you to a place that it was so much in the positive, you thought, this is it. For the rest of my life, I am committed to this person. And I'm going to let you in on a little news. What happens after you get married is you tend to start making withdrawals. <laughs> and it just happens, you know? I've been doing premarital counseling for years and years. I did the same thing. It just happens. And so what you have to watch in your, in your relationship is that you keep making so many deposits that even with the occasional withdrawals, you're constantly staying in that super withdrawal. positive place and that the love bank is full. And the third principle is the principle of total agreement. And any significant right principle, any significant decision that you're making to choose that you're going to come together and have unity in that decision so that things don't become a monument to your withdrawal. If you want to get a sports car and, Chris, you're fighting to get the minivan. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're a minivan kind of guy, I can just tell. You don't buy either until the two of you agree on what you are going to purchase as a couple, what you're going to do as a couple. And if you choose to do that, then the decisions that you make become monuments to your love, monuments to your commitment, monuments to your, the vows you're making today that you are together committed to this relationship throughout the course of the rest of your life. So I just I encourage you in that. Find those needs. Meet them. Keep that love bank full. Allow yourselves to have um, that, that commitment that, that no matter what it is that comes your way, you're going to come to a point of unity and agreement. And as you live those principles, your love will grow and develop. It will mature. And through the course of the years, you'll find that, that what you commit to today not only has an impact on your lives, but it ripples out into the lives of others. So have a marriage that just represents the love that you have and you share this day. Chris and Heather have chosen vows of commitment to one another. And um, I'm going to read those and ask that you would each respond by saying, I do. Chris, will you take Heather to be your lawful wedded life, wife, to live together in matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto her as long as you both shall live. If so, please answer by saying, I do. I do. I'm filming. Heather, will you take Chris to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep you only unto him as long as you both shall live? And if so, please answer by saying, I do. I do. Chris and Heather have also written out some of their own promises that they want to make to each other. So, Chris, you get to go first. 
Yeah, he's gonna text her. <laughs> I love you with all of my heart, and I can't wait to start the next chapter of our lives together. I promise <clears throat> always to be faithful to you. I promise to work on my imperfections and love all of yours. <laughs> I promise to always be there for you and be all that I can. And I promise to keep your love bank full. <laughs> you are my rock in our crazy, beautiful lives. You are every dream I've ever had for a husband. No matter what happens to us in the future, every day together will be the greatest day of my life. I love you for all that you are that you have been and that you're yet to be. <laughs> well, Chris and Heather have also chosen rings as a symbol of their love that will last through the course of their lives. It wasn't an ankle brief. <laughs> hey, hey, don't be hate. Good job, Kim. So Chris, as you place the ring on Heather's finger, repeat after me. Heather, I love you. And I give you this ring, and I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. It's your first marital challenge. <laughs> Couldn't that be Dane? <laughs> Heather, as you place the ring on Chris's finger, repeat after me. Chris, I love you. Chris, I love you. And I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. <laughs> Sealed. Chris and Heather have also chosen the pouring of sand as a symbol of their lives being interwoven with each other. Um, as you see the sand poured, it's their two lives coming together as one this day. May your love always be as constant as the never-ending waves flowing endlessly from the depths of the sea. Just as the waters touch and nourish the many shores of the earth, may your love be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Just as there will never be a morning without the ocean flows, there will never be a day without your love for each other. You've just sealed your relationship by receiving and giving rings and this beautiful union is symbolized through the combining of these two individual vases of sand. Just as the grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual vases, so your marriage will be. So let that be a reminder through all your days. Like sand through now. Chris and Heather, the authority given to me by the state of California, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Aww. Chris, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Chris and Heather Bolesky. Yeah.